What's happening, Star Wars fans? Dan here from Lazy Bunch, and we're doing the final, final mission of Star Wars The Clone Wars, the 2002 video game. Oh man, this was a great game. It's hard to believe that we've gone through all 16 missions already. This is honestly quite sad. I grew up loving this game when it came out in 2002. It was right after Attack of the Clones came out. Let me just brighten my screen up a little bit my end. Um, but this game was awesome, it was fun, it was very underrated at the time, but here we are now doing the final mission, and of course it looks really dark, but you know what, it's an old game, you know, what do you expect? But, um, so here we are, the final game, and of course, the mission before this one was a pain in the neck to do. Uh, we had to fight two of the largest vehicles in this game called Prototeka, and we somehow miraculously made it through, even though it took us like 30 minutes to do it. So, I know this is a bit of a cop-out. Um, in every video I've done unlimited ammo due to the fact that I just don't want to stress over having to deal with running out of ammo. Um, but the other thing is, I also didn't want to make this a 30 minute video for y'all. So I did decide to give myself invincibility. I know, I know, quite a cop out there, Dan. You know, just give yourself a challenge. But no, I really wanted to play through this final level with no stress to worry about, just pure enjoyment. By the way, you know, let's see what the objectives are. Make it through the city in under th five, three, uh, I'm not gonna make that. All square mates must survive, destroy 45 enemy units. I think we could probably do the 45 enemy unit thing. Um, but, like I said, I don't want to have to deal with the stress of this, because, I mean, it's not a hard game, and it really isn't, but at the same time, I just don't want to have to make the final level, like, anxiety-driven, because I know this is the final level, guys. There's a huge boss battle at the end. We're fighting, I don't want to spoil anything, but we're fighting this humongo vehicle, and I don't want to have to deal with, you know, dying a gazillion times and being like, how the heck am I going to get through this? Speaking of invincibility... We just got some. But, like I said, I didn't want to have to stress through, you know, the intensity of this level. I just wanted to fly through, just have fun, just chill. Like, right now, like, honestly, I know I'm not going to die. But, at the same time, I it just... I just want to just enjoy this, you know? I just want to chill and relax and just sit back and enjoy the Star Wars soundtrack, the sounds of Star Wars, and just have fun playing a classic game from my childhood. You know what I mean? Like, you ever just want to chill? By the way, before we get any further on this, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, let us know if there are any other video games that you want us to play, any other classic video games. We did Star Wars Battlefront, the original one. We are doing Star Wars The Clone Wars, obviously. But, uh, we're gonna need a new game after this. So, comment down below what game we should play. I mean, We've been playing a lot of Star Wars games lately. We've done Animal Crossing. We've done, uh, obviously, the Halo MCC games. I'm trying to think, what other games did we do? I think I was going to do Kirby Air Ride at one point, too. I don't think I ever did that one. Um, what other classic games can we do? I mean, there's there's a lot of classic games we could play, but preferably, I'm in the mood for another Star Wars game. Like, honestly, I could always go for another Star Wars game. So if anyone has any ideas for some classic games, maybe Rogue Squ Squadron or something like that, uh, just let me know, and I'll be more than glad to play it. I'll be more than glad to fly through the levels, and just have fun, you know, because that's what we're here for. We're here to have a good time. Super Blasters, they literally save lives. Ah! I Have I ever mentioned how much I love the Hailfire Droids? They're my favorite Separatist vehicle, like... I'm not gonna lie, I love those things. There's actually a Lego set back, I think around 2002, 2003. Oh man, if you guys are fans of Legos and you know about the Technic sets, there was this old Hailfire Droid. I actually still have this set. I think it's worth like a hundred something dollars now because it's so rare. Um, but it was the most awesomest Lego set ever. I love playing that thing. That thing was huge. It was like two feet wide. It was a huge Lego set. It was all Technic, like I said. So those Bionicle pieces, if you guys all remember those. but. Man, I love that thing. That was my favorite set, and partially why I love the Hellfire Droid. This is an intense level. We got like all these vehicles coming in. Look at this! Look at this battle scene, guys. This is intensity happening right here, folks. The Separatists are dropping off vehicles. The Republic's dropping off vehicles. They're dropping off supplies near our location. You know, just the insanity, guys. 
don't know why there's a wall here. Was I supposed to not destroy the wall? Was I supposed to hide behind it and save myself or something? I think so. I think if there was some legitimate strategy to this, it wouldn't be involved just running out into the open, blasting everything I see. <laughs> I mean, there is some invincibility here, though. So, I mean, maybe that would have been my strategy regardless. I hate AATs. Love them as vehicles. Hate them to fight against. That was objective. What was the objective? I'll destroy 45 enemies. See, I told you guys I get that one. I told you I'd make it. I did it. Okay. Uh, oh, was that supposed to go that way? Shoot. I opened the gate and just decided not to do anything about it. Kind of avoided all this. That's okay. I'm assuming there's another spider droid on that side. Yep. Did I even destroy that first one? I did not. There we go. AT. That's going to be a pain in the butt to deal with. Did I not get it? Oh, I did get it. Okay. I just found out how to, like, move from side to side. So now I'm just like, that's all I'm doing now. <laughs> move slider from slide to the right. Slide to the left. Crisscross. But let's get through this level, guys. We're going through the city of Thule. Gonna stop Count Dooku from unleashing the Dark Reaper. Now, I... Honestly, this is not canon anymore. Like, this is definitely not canon. It was probably not canon the second this game came out. Like, let's be real. But this game is is fun. All right, so where are we going now? There's a whole lot of nothing down here. Are we supposed to go? Is there another checkpoint happening? Is there something up ahead? I see those. Is there something happening? I feel like there should be something happening right here. There's a whole lot of dead, empty space. I got a bad feeling about this. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. What is what is over here? Oh, yeah! I'm fighting this guy! Look at the city under... Yeah, I did not make it to the city. Well, all squad mates survived! I gotta fight this guy first. I totally forgot about him. This is like another like bounty hunter, like Boba Fett, Jango Fett type. <laughs> Basically, defeat his henchman, Saddam Prax. Forgot that we had to do a boss battle right here. This thing's like up on my butt. Calm yourself, dude. Star Wars music. Cue the Star Wars. So let's pretend like as if I actually was getting shot at. What's happening? What's he doing? Whoa, what was that? I feel like if I didn't have invincibility, look at him driving, he's like ramming into everything. I feel like if I didn't have invincibility, I'd be dead like 10 times already. I'm just, I'm trying to actually play like as if I am, I'm, I am avoiding him. What is, what is this move? Oh, that like does like a seismic thing. Definitely not as cool as Boba Fett's, you know, Jango Fett's, you know, missile launch thing. You know what I'm talking about. Attack the clones, you know, Mandalorian, they know that thing. That probably would have killed me right there. Let's be real. Oh, get away! Dang, one of my guys just died. And my other guy just died. Dang! I definitely would have been dead a million times over. Got him. Success. I avenge my clones. Oh. Look at that thing. Man, Anakin, you reckless. Mmm. That's classic Anakin being Anakin. 
defeat the Dark Reaper. Can I even kill anything? I feel like I'd be dead. Man, this is intense, guys. Are there villains down here too? Like little vehicles? What are these things? These orbs are just chasing after me. Uh oh, what's happening? What's happening? Oh no! There's a laser beam. Use the force? I'm just driving as fast as I possibly can, dude. This is intense. Okay, now we're good. Back to basics. Just kill the kill those thingers, those energy things. Okay. Oh, got it. I think there's one more. Yeah. Oh, there's two more. Dang. Classic Phantom Menace music. This thing keeps chasing me. Guys, I forgot to mention these graphics are just mm, spot on. Like, games of today have got nothing on this. See that lightning bolt right there? That was like real. I'm totally joking, by the way. The graphics suck. <laughs> I was just aiming at the sky at something. What was I aiming at? Bam! Got it! Ah! I'm moving faster than my missiles. That's telling you something's wrong with the Republic's weaponry. Come on, when's that laser beam stop? Like this dude, he's just telling me what to do. The Reaper's cannons. Oh, I I am a hundred percent dead. I was about to be like, this is not stressful at all. But like, if I was playing, with, like, okay, I will say this: if you're playing without unlimited ammo, you're screwed. Like invincibility, you probably don't need that. Obviously here, because I've beaten this game without invincibility before. Don't know how, but I did. Um, but I would highly recommend unlimited ammo and the code for that is chosen one with the number one just go to the main menu go to um, options bonus uh, codes or something like that and then click on and then type in chosen one now the code for invincibility is one the number one with force there you have it that's how I, that's how I got to where I am today oh man but this is uh, this is something. This is insane. Like, I'd be like, let me grab some, let me grab a health package just for fun. Ha, ah, got it. Destroy the harvester bays. Man, there's so many layers to this villain. Does this laser go on forever or something? That laser beam I know will kill you. Like, I'm just playing as if that laser is actually hurting me. Ugh. I got it! Woo! I got it! Yahoo! <laughs> that was very anticlimactic the way it crashed. Dang. Well, I wasn't going to say that was much easier than I expected, but once again, like I said, I'm playing with invincibility. Dang! Well, the Dark Reaper was destroyed. Let's continue. Let's finish this game, guys. Let's... What happens next? I'm going to bring up the volume just a little bit so I can hear it. You've grown more powerful. I only did what I had to. <laughs> Stubbornness of Anakin. For my empire. Be careful, Anakin. If you do not control the power inside you, it will consume you. I know what I'm doing. Be mindful of your tone, my Padawan. Do not forget that you are still but a learner. I will keep that in mind. 
<laughs> Anakin. And then, Revenge of the Sith after this. Mm. Of course, got away again. Yes, sir. This battle may have turned the tide of the war. What the battle we have. But far from over, this war is. Sounds like they're getting ready to make another Clone Wars game after this, but never did. Um, instead, they made the TV shows. Dun 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 dun. Star Wars. Ah, yes. Well, okay, I'm done with that. <laughs> we don't have to watch the whole credits. But yeah, that that was Star Wars The Clone Wars, guys. The 2002 video game, very underrated. A lot of fun. Um, I honestly love this game, guys. Like... It is so much fun. I've, I've, every person who has ever talked about classic Star Wars games, I always like, you know, whenever there's a conversation of like, you know, Battlefront or um, Rogue Squadron, I, I know this doesn't compare to them. There's nowhere, they, this doesn't compare anywhere near that. But there's, this game was just so much fun to me. Like, I, I loved this game and there was just so much like fun mechanics to it. Like, so many levels were different. There are like, you fly in missions, you got the battle, the, ground missions it was just so much fun so i'm glad i got to share this series with you you know 16 missions 16 videos for you guys um there is a multiplayer section here where we go through like some of the fun little multiplayer maps there's like you know you get to duel each other on vehicles you get to play in the academy which is basically like endless waves of troops there's this conquest where you get to take take bases from your opponent which is kind of like uh battlefront but you're playing as vehicles there's also this other mode called Control Zone, which is kind of like if you ever played Halo, it's like King of the Hill. You basically have to be in charge of this area for a little while and control it. Um, and then there's the duel again. But yeah, this game was so much fun. I mean, it made me really fall in love with the newer vehicles because when I was a kid, obviously the Empire vehicles like the AT-ATs were cool and, you know, X-Wings were cool. But this game really showcased the Clone Wars vehicles. Like you have... Obviously, the Hailfire Droid AT, whatever this doohickey is here, um, whatever that other Republic doohickey is, but you got a good sense of like how powerful some of these vehicles were at you know the New Republic uh, stages or the Old Republic stages of the war, which was kind of cool. So I mean, yeah, this game was just so much fun and. I mean, I loved it, and like I said, I would highly recommend it for anyone to play. It's really cheap. Um, I know there is an Xbox version, but unfortunately, it doesn't play it on the Xbox One anywhere. You have to have a 360, and I even think, um, because this was an Xbox original title, I don't know if it was ever adapted for the 360, so it's one of those where you have to have an original Xbox to play this. Um, that's why I'm playing it on the GameCube, which obviously plays on the Wii. So. Yeah, if you want to play this game, I would highly recommend it. If you have a Wii, it's probably only like five, ten bucks at most on Amazon or eBay. Um, but yeah, this game was just so much fun. I highly recommend it. I loved it. And yeah, so there we have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it. And like I said, let me know what other Star Wars titles you want me to play next. I played Battlefront. I played this. I've been thinking about doing Lego Star Wars again because that's coming out in the spring or the fall, whenever it's set to come out, just playing the original, but we will see from there. So thanks for watching, everyone, um, and we'll see you all next week.